Hi everyone, it's Tom Gentile. Welcome to Tom's Trading Room. It is Friday, February 26, 2016. Um, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the markets. I got some good news for you bulls out there. And also I want to talk about two calendars as well. So uh, let's, let's hit our first calendar here real quick. So um, this is our webinar calendar, calendar for March. As you can see here, we have several different webinars going on. Actually, if you add them all up, we have 21 webinars that are happening in the month of March from everything from uh, all of our general audience all the way out to our partners and then some. So each color coding uh, is a different significant value. And those of you that are partners and those of you that are um, tools members and even those of you that are one percenters, we're going to be emailing out specifics to the webinars you see on the screen. The blue area I want to mention real quick are, is our Tom's Trading Essentials webinar. This is a three-part series. begins on March 2nd, and all of you should be getting a, um, an invitation to that. If you want to register right now, uh, attached to this video is the link to register for this three-week course. All right, let's get into the markets here real quick. So um, S&P, so I'm looking at the S&P, and, and as we did pull back uh, on Friday today, uh, we did hold that key level that we're looking at at 195. I'm also keeping an eye out uh, on this for a dark net sell, which is, uh, which is likely to occur. We got a buy signal back around 185. This was a couple weeks ago, and we're setting up for a sell, and the sell may actually end up coming very soon. Um, and, and if it were to come to uh, on Monday, for instance, this is still a 10-point move in the S&P. Fantastic. I do think that sell level is going to be very short-lived, and we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. The bond market. Uh, you know, We're looking at TBT here, which is the reverse bonds. And so um, moving up is good for stocks. Moving down is actually not good for stocks. And as you can see here, we've been moving down now since the beginning of the year. But most recently, we started to find some footing on the bottom with our lows being around uh, with TBT around 34 and a half and again at 35 and a half we seem to look seem we seem to have broken to the upside and this is good but keep in mind we need more trade data to really reveal the long-term price action of TBT uh, this particular chart we're looking at here is the currency markets, FXE, the Euro Trust. As you can see here, uh, we were in a sideways range for a while, and then we jumped up very quickly uh, into the beginning of February and fell off almost as fast uh, as we are now in a buy signal uh, with, uh, with Darknet. So Darknet is now telling us that it is a potential buy going on out there. And again, uh, Darknet is a short-term trading strategy. Uh, average trade is about 21 days. However, the exits are not based on time. They're actually based on price and what we call channel collisions. So keep an eye on this one. USO, the uh, oil uh, ETF. Uh, obviously, we know what's been going on with oil. I actually have been looking at oil now bullish for the next several months, and uh, we seem to be bouncing around down here uh, just below the $8 level. Uh, you know, uh, ETF to me is not a good representation of oil. We do look at it more short term. However, I do see uh, this one coming off the bottom. And I do believe if uh, if uh, we continue in the ways that I see us uh, moving around now, oil almost hit $35 a barrel earlier today, then I would suspect that we're going to hit resistance right up there around 10 and again at 11 and a half, which was the, uh, the, the, the dark net sell signal we saw back up here at the beginning of the year. All right, let's look at another calendar here before we end out this video, and that is the calendar of March. March looks very, very green, all right? And this is not grass we're talking about, folks. This is the amount of bullish trades to bearish trades that we see based on patterns that are 90% or better during the month of March for the last 10 years, all right? What kind of stocks are we looking at on this? Actually, it's pretty interesting because I'm seeing S&P mid-cap, I'm seeing uh, Dow Jones industrial stocks and I'm seeing NASDAQ stocks all coming together saying that this is a great time uh, for bullishness looking at the last 10 years for the month of March. So again, things like SPY, QQQ, uh, DIA, these are coming up in various days 
for the month of March. So I really like this this pattern uh, for for the season. All right. So if you if you're a technical, uh, if you're a technician, and you see bullishness, this might be giving you one more opportunity to look to the long side. If you're a fundamentalist and you think that now that we're out of uh, earnings season, that prices are likely to go higher based on fundamentals, this might give you one more reason to be a bull. All right. And finally. Uh, members, go ahead and log in. You can get uh, our trade details for our case studies that we're looking at this week, our exact case studies, including options. All right, you can do that right here in the login area. Also, uh, check us out and you can ask us questions, etc., through the forum. And finally, those of you that want to come on board and check us out, right here, seven day free trial, and that is a full free trial. You get access to everything, whatever package that you want for that seven days. All right, guys, have a great trading week, and I'll speak to you soon.